All right, guys, welcome in to Trident's Tip. We're going to be on uh, Yanya today, which uh, I suspect uh, not a lot of you have. Uh, some of you may not have seen this map before. It's one of our custom maps we keep in the uh, close hold, as it were. We use it for very special occasions and very certain operations. It is an amphibious landing on a sort of like outpost island in the middle of this sound. And uh, it's gonna be fun. I think you guys will enjoy it. The, the few operations we've had here before, it has gone uh, there's been a wide array of uh, things that have gone on with it. But it is going to be an amphibious landing force. Lots of um, lots of action on the beach that I will try to capture. Um, I think militia are a lot more equipped to defend the beach this time than previously. But this is not entirely a one life operation. I'll share some details with that here in a second. Uh, but let's take a look at the operation we've got going on today. So the amphibious operation is pretty straightforward. There's a small island that some forces have staged at uh, northeast or northwest of a militia outpost that's sort of been dug into a little bit of fortification on this island. They must have taken it over. And so U.S. forces, along with a coalition mandate, are going to step in and land on the west side of the island. There's a few designated beachheads that you can see, red, white, and blue. Um, those are the islands, sort of like the goals, or not the goals, but the set the operation is going to take place on one of these beachheads. U.S. are going to figure out how to amphibiously land there. And then from there, they're gonna push through the island, uh, which is a pretty densely wooded place. Uh, and then they're going to, uh, have to move the camera here, got some background noise. They're gonna push through to the fortification and secure a transmission tower, along with a, uh, a militia fob that will be set up to defend. Uh, we do have some rules regarding the respawn mechanic. It's not typical. Usually we do one life operations and they're just straight up one life operations. Uh, today, not gonna be the case. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, talk through all of the parts of the operation now. I'm gonna start with US. So US, running strikers amphibiously to assault this beachhead. Uh, squads are currently, uh, per the mission specs, the squads are one SL, two FTLs, one AR, one medic. And the platoon armory is four lats, four engineers, two mini machine guns, and four ammo bearers. Um, as well as crewmen as required to pilot four strikers. Uh, to crew four strikers rather uh, us also have command assets uh, they have two a10s orbiting on station they can call them in for gun runs uh, there's also three times smoke barrage uh, that the u.s commander can call in and the u.s mission is pretty straightforward they get to choose one of these beaches and then they're going to assault that beach secure it and then they'll move through the forest to the militia command post and take that out. There's also an additional UAV that uh, command will have, that they'll be able to use before the mission starts properly to get a sense for the lay of the land of the militia um, disposition on the beaches. And I believe they get to choose the beach after they have that intelligence, so. 
gonna be a little bit of a uh might be a little bit longer before live than usual which is why i'm talking more now but you know that's what it is militia on the other hand let's talk about what militia are doing this operation militia loadouts one times sl one ftl two ars one lat one medic per squad they have an additional four lats platoon wide and two engineers uh they'll have a couple of they'll have a few vehicles they get an spg techie along with three lodgies at 700 700 and the fobs so each beach and the uh command post will have their own fobs they'll have their own uh things that they'll be able to add here the according to the the uh, mission parameters red beach which is the northern beach will have uh, two times hmg one times spg9 in fortifications the white beach which is the central beach has two times hmg various uh, defensive fortifications blue beach the south beach will have one times spg9 one times tow along with various defensive structures the uh, command post itself has one times mortar and ZSU emplacements scattered around the area on the fortress, along with fortifications they can add for that. So let's take a look at the uh, end goal objective here as we get started. Oh, whoops, I gotta change my default. Uh, It gets to change my default finger. Okay. So we can see some of the, uh, we can see this is the fortification that the uh, US will be eventually attacking. We can see the, uh, the point has actually gone down inside the main structure here, north side of the fortification. There's a big radar tower in the middle. And there are ZSUs placed in And a couple of uh, this, a couple of indirect fire shelters, random bunkers all around. All of the structures can be entered. And there's a significant uh, fortress works around here. I think there's also some satellite buildings that they can enter as well. Maybe not this one. No, yeah, this one for sure. And flying around. His issues are not going to have the best chance of attacking ground troops, mainly because of the raised concrete barrier around them. This would have been ideal for defending against air, but U.S. have decided to take an amphibious approach here. This issue might have more, a bit more use than the other ones, mainly because it sits lower on the ground. It can shoot up the hill. Although this CSU, just based on how the terrain is working, will definitely be able to hold off the no north choke point. And I'm not quite sure how the ammo is going to work for those, but I've been told they exist. So we are going to be following U.S. in blue. We're going to be following U.S. command comms as well. And take a look at the beaches. We'll start with Blue Beach. Looks like we already have some uh, players getting ready to set up here. Blue Beach sort of, uh, we'll start in the south and go north. Tank traps all around the beach. These are static obstacles. They're not going to be removed. They're going to be problems. They sort of uh, give the uh, the impression that there are sort of predetermined lanes. The strikers will be able to fit through most of the gaps. Then again, the strikers aren't really meant to be used in land. Uh, the strikers are just to transport troops in. 
is get wrecked in this from Paul. I don't know. Let's take a look at the players right now. I know we have a couple of guests for this operation. Oh yeah, get wrecked is here. He's in Killer J squad. On militia. Uh, we also have um, Gorlami running with Phoenix. And we have Winter Sin uh, running with Captain Morgan right now. Uh, we are going to be rolling with five maneuver elements per team. King commanding US round one. Phoenix, Flame Mage, Flicker, and Oddball, as well as Inky running squads for US round one. We have Londarts commanding Mill with Killer J, Hanu, Alpha Guido, Frost, and Captain Morgan. A couple of additional admins here just to make sure everything goes smoothly. Uh, player count looking pretty good. The squads may not be completely full, but there's going to be enough maneuver elements here. You, the militia have a lot of cover. This is the white beach area here. A bit more open. It's got the, uh, the bunker to cover it. And then red, I believe, takes place after this chicane and the shoreline. All the way to the north tip here. US will only be inserting from the west side for this operation. And then once they get there, lots of trees. This is a pretty dense forest. There's also a road that cuts straight through the island, north to south. Uh, some minor fortification here, as well as an improvised helipad. road runs all the way down south i believe there's another structure somewhere around here like a homestead yeah here's the homestead see mill players getting a brief we'll go over to us here in a second and then it hits uh a shoreline there's a warehouse to the east where militia have stashed their vehicles and I believe that's out of play. And then the fortification itself. A couple of buildings, concrete pads, along with the concrete walls all around and plenty of defensive structures. So once again, that's the main operation. Now there are gonna be some respawn mechanics that happen here. Uh, US will get multiple chances to secure a beachhead. Um, and there's gonna be respawns that happen for US as well as for um, militia. Militia will be set in their defensive or the beaches, so they have to secure all beaches. They don't know which beach is gonna be hit before live. They don't even know which beach is gonna get hit until it gets hit. So they have to react to contact after the beach landings have begun on the US designated beach. So that's gonna be red, white, or blue. It's up to US to pick which one they wanna go for. And we can see here some of US is starting to get ready to go. Getting players spawned in here. Normal strikers, uh, I believe they are modded. Or if these strikers are modded, I believe, I actually, I believe the strikers are modded because they have a reduced zoom, keeping in tradition of what we use in squad ops. but they are amphibious vehicles for this operation. And then we got a bunch of other things here that won't be used. So, should be good. 
uh, squad leads have broken out here, so they've gotten their initial marching orders from their command, and uh, players are coming in. Uh, let's go over how the respawn rules are written real quick for Trident's tip. So you guys are going to get multiple chances to crack the nut that is this island. They will use everything they can to try to take it. The idea is that when players die uh, during the beach securing phase, uh, US players come back to the island, militia players will uh, respawn at a rally uh, where their squad leads have placed and they can come back in until it despawns. And then I believe once U.S. has secured an island, there's one more respawn for everyone that has gone down beforehand. And then we move forward as a one life operation from that point. Uh, everything's going to happen in waves. So when U.S. players respawn, they come back to the assembly area and then they will move out as a, a, full, a full striker, I believe. I don't believe we have a helicopter pilot uh, that's designated for U.S. So we're not going to see a helicopter for this operation, but we have multiple strikers. Um, if they lose strikers in the initial beach assault, they will have uh, additional strikers on hand to re-secure the beachhead. But U.S. don't have infinite tries to uh, get the beach landing. I believe uh, they may have three waves, three or four waves, depending on what the uh, admins are going to call. They're going to make this call live on the ground. Uh, there's going to be multiple waves to take the beach, but that's about it. Uh, militia players will have a similar wave structure. They're going to... Uh, they get to respawn uh, at their rallies and then believe they get to uh, roll out in waves sort of congruent with the waves that are coming in from US. Uh, once a beachhead has been landed on, um, militia will be able to break their formation. So they have to cover all beaches initially but once US have started landing on a beach and they've made contact on a beach, uh, the, the defensive hold goes out the window and militia will be able to react as uh, they see fit. So that's generally what we've got going on. Might be a little bit more of a wait before. Oh, we actually have a brief. Let's go over here and get this brief from King. Mark, I Take placed, a shovel out and wait. That and we will assault the cop, the enemy cop at Hotel 1125. Do we have any questions? I know there's a little bit of respawn commanding. Simply put, if you die, you'll respawn back here and you will wait for a striker to ferry you across if we have not secured the beachhead. After we secure the beachhead and get our final re reinforcements on the beachhead, there are no more respawns. Sound clear, gents? Yep. Question. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, do it. we immediately respawn, or can we wait for a medic to pick us up? So we, we are not doing revives in this operation, so yes, you will Copy. give up immediately, and you will not talk like normal um but you're free to talk amongst yourselves once you spawn back here with the other people who had fallen thanks copy any other questions guys awesome squad leads get you guys ready and prep for live let's have fun guys well, how do you want us to break up these strikers here So, Flicker, you have your own squad in your striker. Um, 
and then let's have all right so we did miss it uh but it looks like they are taking the north beach and a very north approach on the beach um it is technically in play So we can see the U.S. plane here yeah, from all of these marks. So I think four strikers and five marks. Nicola. Yes. Yep, guns out and get in. Here we go, boys. So we're gonna follow these strikers all the way in. Leave the uh, main surprise to what's going to happen once we get there uh right now we see f the fobs gone down for militia and they've generally located their defense south side of red beach oh i'm on the most northern one santo santo you're in the wrong one I think they just made the water really shallow. <laughs> no, because I think it kills any other ve vehicle that goes in the water. No, this is this is legit amphibiousness going on here. Wait, is there rockets oh, yeah. on those don't launch break on the that gun? Of those you don't. Guys. You guys, guys, guys see the hold, on the side of the try to hold, uh, <laughs> try to, We're trying to get this. Do you mind just holding comms here while we get this last little bit sorted out? All right, more concentration required. I like turtles. Dash B. Um. Um. King loaded into a striker now. I believe that's everyone in. So now we're just waiting for the go code here. Not sure if if King's not going to have a uh, command. I don't think these things have a commander spot. I'm in the most northern striker. One all the way at the end. I don't think these strikers have a command slot. Not that I can tell. There's a driver and a gunner. And then there's crew space for the dismount element. So we're just waiting for live here. Let's take a look at the map. Starting from the assembly area island, they're moving pretty much direct east. They're going to take the north approach here. This should be pretty open. I think they're going to catch militia by surprise. Uh, the only defenses they're going to really have to worry about are this tow, which doesn't exist. Very good. And We're going to two. then HMGs. So I guess militia are just going to rely on... Like, we're going to go to straight from here, so you want to go to maybe like... Foxtrot 785, and then go straight there, to the to the beach. Let's get a little north of it first, and then uh, and then we'll hit it hard from the direction of the arrows. They're going to circle around the island, looks like. If not, they're just going to go straight north and just pop this way. Of course, Yanya is a bit more than... Uh, this island and this sort of setup here. We've got uh, this entire inlet, which is, you know, so first with the strikers, pretty crazy. I want mainly the strikers been putting smoke and then staying Holy the shit, to support. So they would okay. be moving Wait, until uh, oh my God, it is. started to rest and getting towards the tree line. Over take a look at the uh, just so we make it clear what's now, going on flame you will be sending back two of your strikers oh you guys don't know for uh ferrying more Too guys new. okay uh that was very informative you're new <laughs> yeah, I'm very new, to this. Very new. To this uh so and we're live actually with round one of trades tip strikers moving out Still okay.
And here we go. Striker is in the water. Amphibious vehicles, guys, they work. We float, boys. I was not expecting to float. Just all squads. I have one guy just joined as we left. I'm going to try and get a rally now. No, that's fine to get him in if you can. Um, yeah. Make sure you pick it up immediately, though, with some of your guys. So we're going to have to yeah. And here we go. Strikers making a big punch out here. Still a bit of a ways away. Um, just about a click away from the... We don't want all the chatting about shit. Agreed. Just a bit away from the island, about a click away from the island now. Follow these strikers on in. Militia are going to be holding, so we can see some militia in the distance. This is the r militia guy is guarding the red base. I imagine we're going to see some HMG opening up here very shortly. Although it is at a click. And we're turning in. This looks like they're going to deal with a whole squad. Maybe a squad and a half. On the red beach. They're all spread out. Uh, HMGs oh, for militia are not in the area. And they are not manned at this time. And here we go. The big turn in has happened. We can see all the militia on the side, and here we are. U.S. have spread out. King wants a King wants a uniform landing. He might get it. Lats are going to be a problem here as U.S. get closer, close to within 600 meters. That's more than 30 seconds. <laughs> And it's not going to go, I don't think it's going to go U.S.'s way with the uniform landing here. These two vehicles are definitely going to get here first. Shots being fired. RPG missing. Smoke being deployed. RPGs lo launching overhead. That one was close. He's down. Nice. 
And here we go, Red Peach. Great use of smoke here from US. Oh no, multiple casualties. My frames. Oh, my frames. Let's get back down on the ground. Oh. <laughs> Going up in the air was a mistake. No. There we go. Oh, my frames. See, that would have been bad if I was on the ground here, but let's take a look at the aftermath. The U.S. have basically made it across the beach. Some militia going down already. Vehicles are still up. Uh, lots of smoke here. Triple you know, RPG. Copy that. Flame sent two of your strikers back. One just got wiped on the southwest. Three, I need you orienting uh, southwest with your strikers. Uh, Acro is still stuck here near the helipad, north side. That's what I don't get. Doing six is trying to get on the Remember, they're spread out. Oh, he's DC'd. Unfortunate. Uh, I think Blood Reaper is still up here. He's got himself a nice log. He's kind of stuck here definitely because of the, the striker who's still deploying smoke. And US forces are in a firefight north or east side of the island. RPG hit the side of a striker. And the US beachhead secure, so the respawn phase is over. Wow, that was crazy, and I missed pretty much all of it. Dang, I want it. <laughs> well, I'm trying not to get in the air, so. I'll try not to, I'll try to find one angle to watch the next landing for round two. Oh, a TK. Oh, no. US only two squads really on the beach. And the strikers are going back to pick up the guys that have come in. Right 
We're still in a firefight north side here. Looks like some militia forces are trying to fall back here. Mortars. From militia here. Shredding. There goes Rainman Gorlami. And I missed the third guy. Could have been a mortar, could have been RPG. Gotta watch for these trees. They make for awesome multi kill opportunities. It might have been, uh, might have been a mortar that hit the tree. I think that's what that sound was. Strikers are pushing into the forest. We'll try to like get between these guys here. Six and two. US have got to move. As more mortars hit the tree line. Uh, it looks like these guys have made the most southern progress. Striker trying to navigate these trees might have just gotten itself stuck. stuck here. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Yeah, you got it. Back, 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 back. Appreciate it. Ooh, this is crazy. Militia have fallen back. Looks like we're getting more smoke coming in. Militia have given up the red beach and they've fallen back to the white line. Copy that. Six, I want you getting six. And strikers having reinserts come in. Looks like two full squads being reinserted. coming in. Lots of mortar fire now and this is a problem. US command wants to wait for reinforcements. I don't know how much more mortar fire this thing's capable of. Not much. Takes 40 per barrage it looks like. And there's still the SPG techie to worry about. Only two squad leads remaining, squad lead six in command. Uh, vehicles are still up. We got two strikers still pushing through the forest. Streaming early? This is our f first, uh, this is our session one time now. 13.45 uh, Eastern. I don't believe we have a second operation on the books though, but we will have a second round of Trident's tip. Mortars just popping through the US line here. Strikers trying to go through the forest is not having a lot of success. Nick 
flies back. Dismounting. One life, one round. So... It is and it isn't. There are some respawn rules in play for the initial beach landing. But after a after a beach has been secured and militia have stopped defending it, there is no more respawns. So what we're seeing now are players coming in from that last respawn wave. And we're gonna play at one life from here on out. Militia still have a sizable force behind. Lots of multi-kills with RPGs, mortars having a significant effect here. Uh, who's on the mortar? It's Londars. It says two, but I guarantee that number is bigger. The US are just moving to contact right now. It's very hard on Yanya. This is pretty, pretty thick. There's Vic ammo in this vehicle, yeah, take it. Uh, Forrest. Mortar's landing close to old man Pete. He got hit pretty hard. He needs to get out of there. And he dies to a mortar strike. Bartok, all Bartok could do is just sit and watch. Overtime gameplay. Uh, it may or may not take a long time for this operation to wrap up. It depends on how much more tempo US want to use here after they get reinforced, which is happening now. Uh oh. They want to put people back in the strikers. Chubbs might have a chance here to get up multiple kills. US have decided to move forward by uh, putting their guys in the strikers to have them move forward faster. That's command's intent. There may be some mines in play, but I don't see any. Mortars are just hammering away. Not a lot of ammo left, down to 140. Everyone's scattering as the mortars land pretty close. We don't really have the concept of an overtime round. In uh, squad ops, not so much. It's just, you know, basically, at this point we're one life to the last man. And US have made contact. Oh, striker got hit. It's gonna pop. They gotta get away from it. Oddball's gonna get hot. Oh, he moves just or far enough away from it. Not get exploded. Chubbs goes down. That was the RPG that took out the striker. I think Oddball went down there, so that's bad news for U.S. This left flank is pretty important. Lots of open areas, sort of little clearings like this. SPG is 
mortars landing at the US line. Not too many more salvos of the mortars to go. Oh no. Alpha has a strong squad heading behind enemy lines. Oh, Utopian might actually see these guys. I don't know if he's going to be able to get much communication up the chain. He's not a squad lead. Yep, here goes Utopia. Sasa gets a shot off. No. Are they going to take a shot at him? They're just going to watch him. Alpha telling his guys to hold fire. So the fire team flank is real. There are... Alaska, I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, it's not how we run things. Oh, here we go. Phoenix in massive suppression here. Kool-Aid man might go down. They have to bandage in the field directly. Looks like Stinker here is just shooting back a tracer or whatever he can see. Trying to suppress. He's running out of ammo at the rate he's firing. US making progress west side of the map. Oh, but they're starting to get contact from behind now. Redibus getting walked up on here. Alpha's just waiting. They're just walking them in. I don't believe there's a time limit, Paul. Heda is actually discovered contact behind and trades with Alzadi. And that jig is up. Redibus is looking for contact behind him. US have basically shifted west of the road here. And this structure is way manned up. And a striker hit in the front. Reloading. Take a look at the militia lines here. Pretty solid using all of the cover that they can. Get wrecked. Thought better of it. Oops, pulled out his uh, rifle again. One, we need you to help engage Get wrecked versus Gorlami here on the side. Oh, this uh, striker has lost a wheel. Sure 
RPG hitting stationary striker oh with no gunner with no driver in the vehicle they don't know how bad that is Hovis needs to get out there he's gonna pop potentially Hovis is still manning the striker though hmm Well, if they get another rocket down on the striker, that's bad news. Oh, and U.S. forces in contact to their south over here. Freestalker walked into a militia line. Last guy, I have no idea what you're talking about, bud. It may have happened once. Once. Oh, militia making a push here. Uh, starting to angle on this. Raymond under fire by Spitfire. Kind of hard to shoot around a uh, broken log, but Acro goes down. Oh, and Rayman gets popped. Cover Northwest. Watch oh, grenade. Uh, doesn't appear to have gotten anyone. Right. Rayman already down. Militia just chewing through the backside of the U.S. line, but U.S. have a pretty solid position now. Wait, is Mecky still up in the building? Anyone got frag? Right, there's one up here. No. Yeah, we have a frag. Enemy frag. Move, grenade, move, grenade, grenade. He might push. Fish right hand side. Gorgadil's gonna get pre-fired as he walks around the corner. He's in the back room, right hand side. Just reloaded. Heard it. Hold on, hold, hold. It's all gonna be. Hey, we can wobbing this now. You might be able to. Salty toes stand. Mickey. Joe gets one. Maybe one more. There might be another one. I heard a scorpion in there. Contact zone coming in from the northeast. Northeast. Man just went down. Northeast. Saw someone for them just be dying. Alright, take crossing. Contact zone coming in from the And there's the trade, Blue Jericho for Mickey. Sasha just running through. One guy down. Good. Yep, I'm good. Just got a bandage. I'm gonna grab ammo real quick. Yep, good. Oh fuck. I don't know. Bandaging. I'm watching. I'm watching behind. Do we with, regroup with three or one? Uh, so right now numbers. Militia, I thought had the numbers to do this, but I guess they don't. Militia looks like a squad size force. Is Get Rex still alive? I think he died over here in this firefight. If he didn't fall back. Uh, 
It's a pretty desperate defense for militia now. And strikers are still being used. U.S. with the strikers and militia. Silence got an RPG. Lagar's got an RPG. That seems to be it. Of course, there are ZSUs in the base, but they got to fall back to get those. And we do see a mine here, Hotel 11, 9 or 4. U.S. down to fire team leads running squads. There's a... Oh, squad's got the striker. Correct. Okay, contact northeast. Yachts are coming from southeast. I don't know one in three's plan, but... 1v1 who kills each other there's still a mission state in the background though it depends uh, if one team has completed their objective or not oh you also got contact southeast Viper's gonna run up the shoreline Gamma. We'll be heading a uphill battle to up to the uh, back first, so it's gonna be tough. With two what is this Battlestar Galactica? With two a uh, gun on top. Right now we're The call is to start pushing south, and that's not what's happened, but it looks like that's exactly what militia are doing. Striker using the wide open beach. Getting shot. What a hit from Lagar. Which direction? Is Lagar going to get another shot in? That would be great if he got another shot in. Can we still move? Is there any one tire? Um, apparently one tire is really fucking... Well, it's does Lagar have an RPG to counter that with? Oh, he does. And he's going hunting. Another side hit. And there he goes, he gets obliterated. have reformed the line directly in the path of U.S.'s intended route. Scan. Scanning. Ooh, 
Frost is right there. Grenade goes out. Goes too far, it gets thrown over violence. U.S. forces need to reconsolidate if they're going to make any dent in this line. Otherwise, they have to rely on the vehicle that can't really move. Oh, he's dead. Good job. I'm watching guys maneuvering southeast about 50 Sorry. meters to the right. Copy. Copy. And the striker has no more ammo. Utopian goes down. Yeah, there's still about 50 meters at about 120. Frost is still right here. Right here. Striker can't hit him anymore. I don't know if he knows that. Looking for Joe. Here's some shooting. Joe may have hit perfect there. At a certain point, you gotta conserve some ammo. Oh, and what do you know? Looks like we got a buddy team of is this low revenge in Gorlami? Both bunkers, nothing inside. Have made it past. And I think they've slipped past the line here. So I think we're down to four and six. So six blue and red. Three, four, five. 6v5. Yep, I'm gonna build stand before I jump. And Londarts, Militia Command. Okay, inside clear. Probably still watching his west as sooner or later he's gonna have a great spot here. Although Loyal and Gorlami have now gotten into the building and they have the objective. Yeah, he had the radio, dig it. Yep, there you go, nice. Yep. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Getting the uh, covering entrances. The vanilla. I don't think he knows that's timed. Some. Okay, back off. Back off. Back off. Okay. Yep. Oh, maybe he does. Do you have to wait for the radio to bleed out, or is it? <laughs> oh my God. Timed explosives. So the radio's down. Oh, if you want to set up here, maybe. And now militia are on the attacking. Silent gets the easiest last shot he'll ever make in his life. But the uh, striker's still up, and striker's fine. But the problem is, no one else is alive aside from Toasty and the striker. So it is three v six. But militia have to retake the building. Actually, I'm going to watch this little corner. U.S. mission objectives complete, and Toasty gets gunned down as soon as he pops out the backside of the striker. So now the entirety of you of militia can fall back to the objective, yep. Yep. and all they have to do is wait to gather numbers. The multiple entrances to this building and the fact that they've part wired everything on the walls means they have to go through. They can't pie these corners very well. Yep. Uh, let's take a look at the structure real quick. Golami watching a south exit. Roger. 
He missed his smoke it, on it mine. It doesn't exist. No, no, there's a literal door right there. Yeah, Paladin. You, by the way. Well, what? I don't know. Why are you telling me? And Paladin talking after death. Very sad. Keep maintaining. Yep. Here comes Lawn. One pushing up. Your side. Yep. Get picked up. And. How do we know if the point's capped? How many insurgents am I have to keep, do I have to kill? I don't know. Silent might uh, have a bad time here. One yep. Yeah. Repositioning. Can... Two v four. I saw them earlier, but. Uh... They must not have had the command comms, otherwise they probably would have joined the rest of the attack. Grenade goes in, bounces. Frag hits low revenge, Lawn Darts runs in. Got one. I'm hurt. Loyal gets hit. 2v3. Taking over your doorway. Yep. Instead of waiting for everyone to get there, uh, Militia just runs in one by one. We do have a third Copy. entrance here. Yeah, it's in the, uh, it's in the southern corner. Right. Gonna try to keep Alaska, we're not replaying this round. We're going to right the round two after this happens. I'm going to move to you. Move to this corner. It, putting yeah. a mine down. Okay, here's my left. Putting a mine? AP mine okay, down the southern door. The uh, Roger. Uh, the grenade goes in. And here we go. Militia are starting to mass here, but if they keep running in one one at a time. One down. Nice. Uh, does he hear him? Gotta reload. Roger, sitting back. Oh. Fuck, I'm dead. And... That's a ban. Let's see, 1v1, right? Yeah, 1v1. Gorlami walks back into the other room. But, it looks like... Oh, and it's a trade. So that's a militia win. Actually, it's a U.S. win, because the objective's down. Yep, and there we go. Fucking GG, boys. Dude, that was... U.S. U.S. won. U.S. won. Okay. And with that, we're going to roll into a brink, and then we'll be... Oh. <laughs> now that's funny. I click the squad team audio off button, and uh, I get a crash. Very good. So we're definitely going to take a break after that. Uh, so bear with me one moment as I get back into the server, and we'll be right back.
Squad Ops is a community focused on immersive and tactical gameplay. Realistic event scenarios create a cinematic experience for players and spectators. Squad Ops is geared towards those who want to experience the rush and thrill of combat within planned operations with defined mission objectives and dynamic engagements. If you're looking for hardcore, tactical, and cinematic gameplay, Squad Ops is perfect for you. Our missions and operations are usually streamed live on Twitch and archived to our YouTube channel. To participate in our squad or armor events, head over to our website and Discord for details of how to join in the fun. Ah, uh, question chat. Was it okay to use AP mines or not? Hmm. Consult the book of knowledge. No. AP mines were out of play. Password's not set. Okay. Roof. I just realized I don't know if I said the password or not out loud Daggone it Okay, maybe I didn't say the password out loud. Hope I didn't. Well, anyway, you guys get banned if you join the server anyway. <laughs> All right. Maybe this will load. Slight intermission here. Show you guys what I'm dealing with right now.
Uh, I had a crash after the round ended, so. That's what's going on. nice if people left once they died you know um it would be nice if OWI fixed spectator cams to the way they used to be actually it'd be nice if OWI just fixed outlines we wouldn't have to worry about names on screen at all I could just roll in with the outlines the entire time. That'd be great. It's one of those good old OWI police fix situations. But will they? No. Hundred percent not a priority for them. game and restart. Uh, sorry about the delay here. Oh, okay. Squad still running. Stop. Just kill the game. There it is. Oh, no, it's not. Now, why does Steam think Squad is still running? It's not. Oh, there it is. Bam. Okay. All right, so round two, gonna use a single position to try to watch this landing. So we can at least try to ride through some of the lag that we had round one. here for the audio. Uh, I think I just need to reinstall everything on my machine. Thanks for uh, dropping by the stream. Did you copy and paste a YouTube comment into Twitch chat? That's what it looks like, my bad. Try 
true. True tiger. Oh, uh, oh, uh, there we go. Okay. All right, and have we missed everything? Let's see. Just run them over me? I hop. I still have, <laughs> I still have music playing. Whoops. So it's important not just going off of the map. I'm not sure if it says in the grids in the dock. 12, yeah, golf 12 3. Uh, golf 11 8 to golf 12 3. Well, let's just yeah. uh, hang on. Wait. See what's going on here. What is the south one? Uh, it is blue, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. We just had a large disconnect. Oh, wait, yeah, oh. oh no. All right, well, I suppose that'll give us a bit more time to plan. Potentially. Uh, anyway, Golf 12 3 is pretty much your six marker. Uh, let's see. Uh, Honu. We lost Honu. Okay. A little bit of difficulty here. Let's run around here for a sec. What's wrong with that? I'm licking a screen? I wouldn't want to lick a screen. Oh, but it's a cat. What? So? We just lost a lot, a lot of guys. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Just breathe. Yeah, yeah, they heard your mic working, so they all said they were uh, out. Not again. <laughs> uh, it must be. Yikes. You guys lose people from your squad as well? <laughs> yep. Yep. Here we go. Okay. They just like it when you're here and you're drunk. Hey, hey you're the only drunk one here. You're slurring your words, Polish. man. Polish. Polish. Marco? What are you How doing? What did you take today, Jack? Where? No, the fuck I'm, you looking I'm uh, at? like seven days clean Wait, of weed. Was that B -car? B -car. So I just ordered like two. Yeah, I'm right here, dude. Animals. You have to, or you're taking. Oh, I ran out and I <laughs> chose a little to. bit of a break. Surprise! <laughs> I, ordered more, I, I, but I ordered more than like, like, <laughs> I I mean, I could. Is what we call it. Oh, maybe not, because you can stop. How's it sleeping? Is it. Where the fuck are you, man? Um, all right, that's all we got to say about that. Okay, because you the best newcomer. Uh, I want you to know that I'm your favorite, and I deserve all the special treatment. Because right, I Morgan's stuck around for you. Who's Shadow? I don't know who that is. Okay, but uh, for those of you who missed the beginning of round one, uh, let's go over what we've got going on here. So try and tip takes place on Yanya. It's one of our um, maps that we uh, we keep in the back pocket. Uh, it has amphibious functionality to it. Some of our strikers, uh, but it is generally a big, huge, crazy wooded uh, amphibious zone. Uh, today we'll be working with this area right here. This little island in the middle of the sound. The uh, mission is as follows. US are amphibiously inserting to one of three beaches. Red, white, and blue. Code named on the map. And they're basically going to be rushing for the communications outpost. The outpost on the bay on the island, which is militia-held territory. The idea is destroy the radio, hold out against all other militia counterattack. That's the idea for US. Uh, round one, we saw a north insert on Red Beach that uh, was pretty quick, all things considered. I didn't get to see a lot of the actual beach landing, but it turned out to be a success. Two squads ended up surviving the beach landing. Two squads got reinserted from respawn mechanic. And then we had a uh, full platoon push south down the island which got hung up quite a bit 
and it looks like the squad size force was able to uh, distract for a buddy team to come back through and complete the objective. And then Militia then decided to send one man at a time through the bunker to try to uh, hold out. So, uh, moral of the story is, uh, don't breach a building by yourself. And... Uh... You know... Buddy teams out of command comms can do amazing things, I guess. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Something tells me that's not exactly what's supposed to happen. In any case, look over uh, assets for here for US. US will have a few strikers to work with. They get up to four strikers at a time. Squads are one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one medic, plus a... a um, four lats and four engineers at the platoon level and two medium machine guns and I think they get four ammo bearers along with the crewmen for the vehicles. The uh, platoon level kits are sort of like wild cards that could be used to add squads, fill out squads, stuff like that. Those are given out at commander's discretion. They also have some smoke barrages and two A-10s they can call in. So. I didn't... I don't think we saw the A-10s round one that I remember. I think we would remember. I could be wrong. Anywho. Militia. Defending the island with a few goodies. They have one SL, one FTL, two ARs, one lat, one medic per squad with four other lats in the platoon and two engineers. Those engineers can place down one AT mine per person. They also have an SPG techie and they have a few uh, Logi techies, 700-700, uh, 700, not the uh, trucks you see on your screen. They get three Logi techies, I believe. For the beaches, they have different loadouts at each beach per the document. Two HMGs, one SPG-9 at Red Beach, along with fortifications. White Beach has two HMGs and fortifications, and Blue Beach has an SPG-9 and a tow, along with fortifications. The command point itself is one times mortar plus the ZSUs that are scattered around, which uh, you can see here. I'll actually look at it. Bada bing. There's a couple of ZSUs on the hill. One downhill, one uphill, as far as covering the base. You can see I uh, see mill start to uh, spawn in here. We're gonna fly back towards uh, U.S. main, but uh, Striker is going to be amphibiously inserting onto the beach. believe we're going to see a blue beach run here, but let's check in with the brief, see what uh, Londards has to say about round two. There is, um, militia have uh, quite a lot of uh, advantage, you know, being defenders, so the only way we overcome that is with overwhelming fire superiority. All right, last round, I feel like the other team did a lot of shooting, but maybe not much moving to go along with it. So I want us to be more uh, aggressive. So we hit that beach once we get some momentum going to maintain it. So, uh, you know, there's an old saying that uh, fire without movement is wasted fire. So I want you guys to be thinking about that, you know, all the way down to the fire team leader level. You know, if the other fire team's shooting, move. You know, take some ground, 30, 40 meters, then start firing, get your other fire team up online with you, rinse and repeat the whole way to the objective. Any questions? All right, awesome. Have fun, guys. Squad leaders, let's get ready for life. Who uh, All right, guys. Raw. Cool, and I missed that one too. Awesome. It's because I'm explaining what's going on. Eyes. Is what it is. I cannot explain you. And here we got four strikers here. 
I believe we are going to see a South Beach. Let's take a look at the map and see what they've got playing. South Beach approach. They're going to hit all the way to the bottom of blue. Uh, right now, doesn't look like anything has been diverted as far as ammo. But they have placed a fob here. So they've placed a fob in the southern building. That's going to work to U.S.'s advantage, I believe. But it could also work to militias. It could also be a militia advantage. Uh, it gives them basically... I mean, I would think there's more of a vacuum to fill. Once militia realize they're going after blue, all the forces can just sweep down north to south. We see one squad per area. We're starting to see defenses go up. Uh, I don't see the tow or the SPG being deployed on Blue Beach. So let's take a look and see what we've got going on so far. Not much. No verifications gone up yet. Given the uh, angle of approach, I'm trying to find the best angle to watch this. Could be. It's kind of hard because. Trying to figure out the best angle. Probably something like this. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we'll just try to follow the strikers in again. Getting the last few details set. I believe militia are going to be uh, spending some time building some stuff. I still don't see emplacements. They have the techies over here, though. See HMGs at white and an HMG at red. I see nothing deployed here yet or blue SPG techies back at the command post of course we'll also see these CSUs probably come into play If these has, if the emplacements don't go down, oh, they got the build points now, so maybe they're going to build them here in a second. Might be shuffling some build around to try to make it work. What's it? They get 700, 700 at each beach, essentially. You are on my squad? We're starting to see fortifications go up. We see 50, 50 build chunks starting to come off. Be cool if the map had some gullies or densely placed trees, so strikers had to struggle with terrain or risk taking the road. Uh, the strikers definitely struggle with terrain. Um, the south is a bit more open, so there is an advantage to taking the south. Uh, let's see if we can fly over here real quick. And I'll show you the beach. Round one, there was definitely some problems with the strikers trying to roll through the forest. So the beach is obviously pretty wide open for the most part. Down here, it is kind of rough to get around. 
that little bump in the hill here. But otherwise, this is a straight in approach. Sandbags have gone down, but I haven't seen emplacements yet. Any emplacements? No. 450 build left. I don't think they could build one if they wanted to. Maybe a tow. They also have an SPG. Maybe they could build an SPG. Let's see toasting the ZSU. Dangerous game he's playing. So, but this is the base. So assuming they still go with their plan of attacking blue or beach blue, they have to roll. They're probably going to... Uh, I saw the arrows before they disappeared. They're going from sort of this direction. So there are at least... I can see... One, two, three-ish, four-ish, five-ish, six lanes for a uh, striker to fit through as far as not colliding with the tank traps. But after that, without uh, sandbags being placed at the uh, edge of the beach here, they kind of just get the roll straight up the hill. Although I imagine they're going to swing around. Uh, but we are live for round two of Operation Trident's tip. I'm B Car. Bringing you guys a bird's eye view of what's happening today as strikers roll out. Getting lined up is important. A little bit of a formation is important before you make this beach landing, as we saw in round one. All right. Let's see how good the formation is compared to round one, where it was kind of staggered. Looks like we're going in a box. Got to be careful not to collide these vehicles here. Could cause problems. Problems are being caused. <laughs> The jig will be up very shortly and militia will know what's going on. They'll pull the entire north defense down south. If there is a respawn time for this particular operation, we'll see wa we'll see uh, additional waves until US have secured a beachhead. And the box has become obliterated. We are now in a reverse V. Oh, and see, look at that. Now we're in a somewhat decent formation here. UAV is up and sees exactly what's going on here. No airstrikes yet. No emplacements either. They spent all their build on... They spent all their build on... Fortifications. And I guess they've pumped some ammo into the base here. Toasty on an AA. No mortar. RPGs now opening up. And HFG fire from White Beach. Not effective.
RPG hits. Oh no. The wheel is gone on the striker. It's dead in the water. Oh no. One striker's dead in the water. The other three strikers continue. No command comms. Oh, it's because I'm not in command chat. Hey, oh. If the car is made to abandon ship. Smoke's coming out. I'm making the turn. Oh, we're seeing 18 gun running. Doesn't look like it's going to be terribly effective. The smoke's being sent out here. A little bit off of one end. And aside from one striker going down, US have just walked it straight in. They're on the objective already. The respawn wave has finished. And we are now one. I haven't seen US take any casualties yet. I could be wrong though. Oh no. US ramping around everything. Oh, we got a multi kill. Hope is bleeding out. Hovis, will he make it? Nope, Hovis bleeds out. And there's no response. Oh, there we go. And there's the official. Thank you. No more respawn. INS, or sorry, militia did not defend the beachhead long enough to hold out for a respawn wave. Right, so that's it. Good nade, good nade. Holy oh my god! god. Lardart's calling in a ridiculous fire mission to get his guys in, but they're all in! Up and up. What a play from US! Oh. Alpha finds... What was that? Oh, he tried to take a shot at the striker and it missed. Sticker and Raph go down. There goes the SPG techie. Sausage has taken all the time in the world. Puts one in the inky. That's it. And the striker's in. US just pushing in. And the striker looks like it finally gets hit. And point blank. 
RPG in the side. The striker still up. And the striker think I think the striker said enough. It is not good for militia. Militia forces from the north are just now getting in. U.S. need to keep the pressure on here, but now they're getting flanked from behind. All right, so it looks like reinserts are coming in. This the uh, from the previous respawn wave. The aggressiveness may not work out, but they've just got to continue. So it looks like they are trying to keep shooting a striker here that's beached on the wall. They're wasting rockets on a abandoned striker. Meanwhile, they found the radio. This is chaos. Killer J goes down. There's a squad lead down. Is not going to be enough. Have we where they're and Nikolai has got circled around. Militia whirling down US. US have some positions that are pretty good. Nikolai just continuously finding kills here. What was he doing outside the vehicle? And Alpha just went down. He swung all the way north and got himself caught out. But it looks like I think he lost the duel with Rainman in the bunker. Oh, that went so pear shaped for US. It looks so good. Shadow now one man in a striker. U.S. forces slowly coming down here. No, nope, that time has passed. So this is going to be a quick round two, I guess. It's just Free Stalker in defending the radio close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The U.S. think they're maneuvering their element pretty decently, but uh, they have yet to realize the oddball just sees Mickey and Mickey t goes down. Ah. Yeah. Where did you get shot from? I don't know. I'm looking. So much smoke. It's going to be hard to tell. Oh, guess who's here, guys? It's the reinforcement. U.S. pushed so aggressively, they didn't get to maintain their foothold, and they got swept from the west. So Shadow is one manning a striker. The fork all by himself over here. And Summers all by himself on the east side. Striker now landing. Flame Mage in a bunker. A squad lead is calling that out. Oh boy. Polish and uh, the fork trying to push in here. 
And Polish goes down. The striker is trying to maneuver here to get something. The fork is just stuck in this bunker now. And here comes the second striker that's manned. All right, Shadow, get some kills. INS are pinned in their bunkers. And it's just Freestalker defending the objective. All they have to do is take out Freestalker, get in there. I think Flame Mage is trying to crawl out the bunker, but I don't think he can get out the front. Alright, we're gonna have to dump smoke. I'm gonna they dump smoke. Oh, no! Oh, behind us. Flame Mage takes out two! Behind us in the bunker. Oh no! And a medic's down. Do you have eyes on it? He's inside of the bunker, between you and I. Yeah, rotate me around, I can get inside. I'm gonna send a rocket. I'm gonna send a rocket. Send a rocket into the bunker. Militia taking this pretty passively. Now they're starting to move some folks on the east side of the base to try to get a shot on this striker. The striker's basically cut it down. The fort goes down as Militia storm the bunkers west side and the north. U.S. less than a squad-sized force now. After this. We don't have a minute, do we? Uh, yeah, I got movement looking at out uh, 0, 0. Oh, almost gave him a fucking haircut. Fucking haircut. Almost, yeah, I trimmed his mustache. Got that guy. And looks like they're going after Shadow now. And I think that is going to pop here. Oh, we got a TK on Militia. It was Backblast! Oh, who was Backblast from the RPG? No, I can't, so you gotta go up the Alright. There's just Freestalker in the building. US are so close. Charlie and Lon are the only guys here close enough to affect some sort of assault. But that's a big building and it's a big open room. The shadow is still up, and we still have Money Man here on the side. Or maybe he's AFK, I don't know. They need to get in this building. They need to climb this wall. Oh, he's gonna throw an aid in. That could be good. Does Free Stalker know? He doesn't, and he's down. He's got a bandage. Someone just climbed in. Charlie's on the level now. Free Stalker's still bleeding. Got the radio right here. Free Stalker's still bleeding out. Oh, he's bandaging now. The fake bandage wasn't good enough. Yeah. And Free Stalker's down. Roger. US have the objective. Alright, cover me. Scooch us out a bit. And all the smokes come out as we realize. Militia throw all the smokes trying to maneuver on the building now that they realize it's gone. Paladin leading the charge. There's no good way to enter here. So much crossfire though. Infantry, infantry, outside my wall. Might be one, might be two. Alright, infantry pushing command. What you have for grenades? Say again. The striker doesn't have an angle. They all jump the wall. I mean, I'm moving. They're gonna breach it. 
Lawn darts Please. cleans him up from outside. Ah, we lost Lego. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna keep digging. Roger. What a play by Lawn darts. He goes out the front door. Nothing. And now Militia. And I almost killed you. Glad I didn't. Lose to a squad. Lose two squads to a squad-sized force. Loyal's dead. I think that's GG. That's GG. Oh, okay. Wow. Now that was something. That went by so fast. I feel like that's the story of Trident's tip. One round goes super slow, the second round goes by super fast. Oh my gosh.